I feel like I should run out there. So I'm Andrew with Tom Trainer here, so we're going to do kind of a two-part lecture today. So we're going to do what Jared's actually going to talk to us a little bit first about sound therapy, and a whole bunch of other topics, and then we'll do kind of a Q&A from there, and then I'll kind of go my five optional talk after that, all right? So let's give it up for Jared. Hi, guys. So this is a nice surprise to see this up there. That's my little family there. Little family. Yeah. <laughs> So it's very nice to meet y'all. Uh, massage therapy. Good yeah. yeah. Okay. Massage therapist. So I've been a massage therapist for eight years. Um, I've been over at TKO for two of those years and at Clifton Springs Hospital for eight. Um, over there at Clifton Springs Hospital, we are known for um, not only massage therapy, but acupuncture, chiropractic, and we have our sulfur springs over there. And that's where Clifton Springs came up through is because of the sulfur water. Um, TKO. I just generally do massage therapy over there, but we do have hairstylists and they do um, like eyebrow waxings and facials and stuff like that over there. Um, so generally today I'm here to talk about how massage therapy can help with the workouts and weight loss. Yeah. I know that's true. Yeah. So I imagine all of you just got done working out. Any soreness? Not yet. Later. Tomorrow. Later. So. <laughs> So um, generally after a uh, workout, it's, you don't really want to sit down because then you're going to start putting pressure on the muscles that you just worked out and stuff can start to, you know, become stagnant and pool. So after a massage, does anybody do self-massage after massage or after a workout? No. So that'd be a good thing to do after a massage or after a workout is just do a quick self-massage to get the fluids and lymphatic system working and get all that stuff that you just worked moving. So that fresh, good oxygenated blood and materials can get to those muscles, help recover them, and help them feel better, which means less pain, and you can get it back to a workout quicker, and you know, generally less pain, okay? Um, so what massage therapy can do for, I keep thinking there's a slide up there, the switch. Um, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> so. Um, I'm going to start with how massage therapy can obviously help after a workout. Obviously when you work out, um, generally what you're doing is, um, especially weight training, is you're tearing your muscles up a little bit, okay, and you're causing little injuries to the fibers within the muscle. What massage can do to help w after the workout is, like I said before, it gets things going. It gets the fluids and the, the blood moving, um, so when the materials that help rebuild your muscle can get to the muscles and help build them up. So you're tearing down your muscle, then massage is gonna help get things going so it can help rebuild the muscle, okay? And also, you got sore knee. And also, <laughs> muscle soreness um, after a workout can be caused by um, swelling from the lymphatic system and blood that's just stagnant in the, in the, in the body. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, we don't. Okay, don't mind. We're just, we're just kidding. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a massage. I wish we could start this over, but a uh, massage, um, what we like to do with people, they can have as a tool. So you can have post-workout massage and pre-workout massage. Um, generally for the pre-workout massages, um, like before you come here and work out or you go run a marathon, it's going to be generally a quicker massage and the time is not going to be that long, probably five to ten minutes. And what it's going to do is just going to get the muscles ready for the upcoming event or the upcoming workout. For post-workout massage, it's generally going to be deeper, uh, longer strokes, um, more intensive. What we're trying to do is, again, squeeze the muscles like a toothpaste. We're going to squeeze the muscles so all the bad stuff comes out and the good stuff can replenish and come in. Yeah, good stuff. Um, for weight loss, um, Generally when I give a massage, it's usually on the, the heavier hand, so it's a little deeper than just your relaxation massage. But what you'll find is, what I find is when I'm working on somebody, there's an increase in blood flow, which means there's an increase in heat in the body. And with heat in the body, that's gonna, what? Increase your metabolism. So when your metabolism's higher, you burn your calories quicker. And when you burn calories, that's essentially helping and assisting and losing weight. So that's always a good thing too. Um, the 
What's another thing we could talk about with massage? No, it didn't. I just like looking at <laughs> I just like looking at my family. They're helping me they're helping me get through this. Look at that. Yeah, I know. That's all mama right there. Yeah. Can you, can you walk through a little bit of a south massage right now? Yeah, that's another thing is like I mentioned earlier at first, if anybody else if anybody does self massage. So what I generally like to ta teach people is um, the lymphatic system part of the massage. So after you work out, um, there's four spots on your body. So left side, you're going to start your neck and it's going to affect the arm, right side, neck, arm, and then your hips are going to affect your legs. What we want to do is we can all stand up actually, it'd probably be good just so we can get moving around. Yep, so lymphatic type massage is very light. It's very superficial. I know what that's going to do is just assist things in moving. So we'll start with the right side of the neck, just take the palm of your hand and just swipe up. All the strokes that you want to do are going to be up, okay? So clear out that way and then slowly move down always going upwards go down but go up all right then when you get to the collarbone you do a couple strokes towards the interior and then you can move down to your shoulder and where stuff likes to hang out lymphatic fluid blood and all that debris from working out is usually in the joints so you want to probably scratch in the thing so you want to focus on your shoulder a little bit depending if you are sore you can go a little bit deeper but your lymphatic system is the most superficial system all right, so just nice long strokes. Make sure you cover all the muscle. Get up in your armpit. A lot of lymph nodes up in there. Clear them out. <laughs> and then you move down to the elbow. And again, this is gonna be an area where stuff likes to hang out and pool. So you wanna get in a little creases of your elbow, upward, each side, and then right on this part. And then move down. And then right in your wrist is another location where stuff likes to just chill. Just do a couple little strokes in there. And then get in your hands. Do people, anybody here have like numbness in hands or swelling after a workout? Yeah, then focus a little bit more on your hands, okay. Get each finger, follow all the way up. And then even between the bones, get that stuff cleared out. All right, and then finish with like nice long strokes. And you can do the other arm. Everybody might as well do it, right? Do it quick. <laughs> one side feels good, one side's still tight. Yeah, and just make sure you get up in the armpit in the soft areas just because that's where, that's where the swelling and trouble is going to happen. And this, it's not a bad idea to do it when you wake up in the morning or in, before you go to bed. And you can also do it before and after a workout. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> yeah. All it's going to do is get things going. It's going to get the water going, the, the debris and all that stuff from working out and the swelling. All right, so with the hips, a little trickier. You want to get right in the soft area up front and you just want to start again going up towards the heart. After a workout, who cares? You can just tell them what exactly is going on. Like, Self-massage. <laughs> you be like, my results are going to be better than yours. <laughs> all right, so the areas of focus are going to be in the soft spot in the hip. All right, around the knees is where a lot of stuff, people get sw knee swelling or water on the knee. Yeah. You know, that's even if you have water on the knee issues, this, these strokes will help get stuff moving. And then down in the ankles, another spot. And then if you're not wearing shoes, you know, get your feet. Okay. Um, make sure you do both sides and then finish with nice long strokes. <laughs> so what about arthritis? Does this help, this kind of thing help that too? I think any type of movement is gonna help with arthritis, but is, arthritis generally is in the joints and that's where this, all this stuff's gonna hang out if it's not moving. So if you can clear that out, it's just one less thing that that area has to deal with. So, does that answer your question? I think yeah. it could be beneficial Basically for it. Can't hurt. Yeah, it can't. It won't hurt. It won't hurt. It's not going to hurt. Uh, the only thing it would hurt is if, for some reason, you have unbelievable power and you can just you just do it too hard. You don't want to do that. That's not it's the most superficial, <laughs> most superficial system um, that you that you have is lymphatic, so it's very light. Okay. Um, all right. Any other questions? Anybody have? Yeah, self massage. If you can't come in and see me or your other therapist, and that's the next best thing is get your hands on yourself. It looks silly, but oh well.
it works. You're not going to be sore. <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions? If you can think of any, just come up and ask me. Um, again, I work at TKO. I'm there Wednesday and Fridays. Um, I do have four gift certificates for the top, no, three? Four for the top weight loss people halfway. I'm going to extend it an extra week after the competition's done till June 10th. Um, I'm right over there. Another place I am, but that won't, the gift certificates won't work over there, but the, um, another place where I'm at where I work is Clifton Springs Hospital. We have acupuncturists, chiropractic, naturopathic, hypnotherapists, and other, um, we also have an esthetician for your nails and hair and facials and stuff like that. So that's another option. It's always good to have a lot of tools in your back pocket when you're working out or when you're dieting. The more you have, the better. You know, if you have any questions, you can ask any one of them and uh, we answer them to the best of our ability. Um, but, you know, it's always good to have something else. Another thing I just want to throw out there quick is because I mentioned the, uh, the sulfur soaks at Clifton Springs Hospital is um, just there's a new research out that um, is stated that an hour soak in 104 degree water, like a bath, you burn up to 150 calories. Now that being said, is I'm not going to recommend you go out and take a, take a soak for an hour. Um, at Clifton we do 20 minute soaks. Um, that's generally a good time. If you go to any hot tub and you read on the, the warning, it says don't stay in there longer than 20 minutes. So unless you're pro at it, I wouldn't go longer than 20 minutes. So 20 minutes is a third of an hour, so you'll lose 50 to 60 calories in a soak. All right? And good diet. That's a glass of wine. See, there you go. Go take a nice soak and have a wine. <laughs> but be careful after you work out. You don't want to jump in there right after you work out and have wine because it might hit you a little harder. That's a great workout. <laughs> hey, goals in life, right? <laughs> Make that one glass of wine worth it. All right? No problem. It's good to meet y'all. Thank you. I'll, I'll be here if you guys have any questions. <laughs>